Well, welcome once again to another edition of the greatest show in the whole of the world. This is what we call what, 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 what don't you know? Well, like we always say, this is the only show in the world that tells you what you don't know, but you think you know, but what you do know is what you don't know. What you don't know could be what you know, and we let you know what is what you know, and what don't you know is what you do know. Very confusing, but simple. Very simple, but confusing. Complicatedly simple. And that is the show. My name is Daniel Alvarebois, and I am your quiz master. And of course, as usual, we have three contestants who will be competing in this particular contest today. And like I said, they will be finding their place to the grand finale. In the grand finale, we have something at stake. They will be fighting for a brand new Lamborghini Gelato and 100,000 US dollars. Some people are doubting us, but we told you, Obinim and Obofo never lie. So they have you and we have you. So we're moving straight to our contestants today and we have two new contestants and of course one returning contestants so i'm going to talk to them and find out what they want this time hi yeah what is your name and where are you from i'm yapreko from kofikuma yapreko from kofikuma what do you do for a living yapreko i'm a teacher you're a teacher yes please beautiful now <clears throat> now, hi. 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 Um, what, what's your name? My name is Enima Yabwa. Enima Yabwa. All right. Um, Enima Yabwa, where are you from? Um, I'm from Sepase. Sepase? Sepase, where's that? Um, it's a little beyond Asuyabwa, I think. In the Shanti region? Abuakwa, sorry, yes. Oh, okay. In the Ashanti region. Yeah, that's, that's close to my hometown. Uh, yes, I'm from Nebehi. Oh, okay. Yes, that's my hometown. Wow. Do you live with your parents or you live alone? I live alone. Oh, you live alone. Wow, wow. Well, what times do you get home? Um, is that why we're here? Uh, no, it's not why we are here, but... I don't think that really concerns you, so... Let's keep this professional, if that's okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a pupil teacher. You are a teacher? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, excuse me, is that wrong? Is something wrong with that? No, I never said nothing. So why did you react the way you did? Hey. Nothing. Please, um, uh, you, you are here to win the contest? Yes, I'm here to win. And I'm sure you know the rules of the game. Enlighten me. Oh, don't worry. I am the rule. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay. You please me, you make progress. Please you? Yes. You're not a child. <laughs> please, you don't want to play that game with me. I'm not one of those girls, so you need to be careful the things you say to me. I was only joking, you know. <laughs> Um, let's move to the next contestant. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, what's your name and where, where are you from? My name is Nanayao Gasconi. Nanayao Asconi. Gasconi. Gasconi. Where are you from? Bomsu. Bomsu. Yeah. And which part of Ghana are you from? Ashanti region. I'm also from Bomsu. That is your hometown? Yes. And you live in your hometown? Yes. Boy. So, Nanaya Gasconi, if you win a hundred thousand dollars, what will you do with the money? Um, I will open up training schools and train people to be ethical hackers. You want people to hack? Call the police. Such a what? Ethical hackers. Ethical. They what is that? We, we find faults with computer systems and then we solve them. Mm. So it's not Sakawa? No. So what if you want to do Sakawa? Like you said, you are the law, so... We can't do Sakawa. No. <laughs> we will get you Mugu. 
If you are watching us from elsewhere, <laughs> these are some of the people who do the mugu. Please, be careful. Hmm? Because if you fall prey, they will chop your dollar. Now, let's move to the show proper. We're moving to round one, and before we go to the round one, we're going to go on a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're moving into the contestants, and they will be competing on the show. What, what, what? What don't you know? <laughs> All right, so you're welcome back to the show. This is What Don't You Know? My name is Daniel Laura Feria and I am the quiz master. We're moving to straight, move straight to round one. And in round one, we'll be starting off with our contestant number one. And this time, we're going to go into music. Music. And with the music questions, you're going to tell me the album and when it was uh, released. Or the song or when it was released. Or the artist or maybe the song. Anything. I can ask you in music. So, contestant number one. What is your name again? Please, Yao Preku. Yao Preku. Yeah. This is your question. And please be reminded that every major question is three points, a bonus question is one point. If you miss a question, I can choose to deduct or not. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. You don't want to play this game with me. We shall see. Now, Yao Prakum, this is your question. When was the album Nyang Kun Tong by Contini released? 2005. Wrong! A bonus question to you. I actually don't know who Contini is. <laughs> you don't know who Contini is? So you don't listen to local music? I don't listen to just any kind of local music. I'm selective. Bonus. 2004. It's wrong. The answer is 2001. 2001. Now, your major question. Madam, I don't listen to any kind of music. My name is Enimaya Boa. Okay. Enimaya Boa, my name is. So, on the album Nyang Kong Tong, name two hit songs. With all due respect, I already told you, I do not know who Kunti Hine is. And that is his album from the first question he asked this young man. Well, she says she doesn't know who Kunti Hine is. But do you care? Do I care? Nobody cares. On to you. Now, it's a bonus question. One hit song. Nasruma. What? Nasruma? Yes. What track? Track one. Sinia, why? It's the one. It's track one. Hey, Etika Haka. <coughs> well, your bonus. I get ya, missima bao ho, la la, and You know, sometimes when you decide. To copy, you have to copy properly. If I were you, I would have just stuck with Akitesia. I wouldn't give it to you. Now, your major question. Gascony. The song, You Go Kill Me, You Go Kill Me, by Sarkodie, was released in which year? 2011. Correct for three points. Guy. Yes. 
Tiflo. Tiflo Ampa! Wrong! So that is unfortunate. I can't give that to you. Now, your major question. On the album Iron Boy, the album Iron Boy, name the artist and the year released. Name the artist and the year released. Iron Boy. Shatawali. Okay. And the year was 2014. Beautiful. Shatawali, we're looking forward to listening to that album. I don't know when you release it. 2014, you release an Iron Boy album. We're looking forward to that. Bonus question. Pass. You don't, you don't listen to those kind of songs? Pass. Guardiola, that's it. We'll pass. Gasconi. I'm much And the year? 1992. That is what unfortunate, but I'm gonna give you half of that. So I'll give you one out of three. I'm <laughs> much It was released in 1998. And that is the Iron Boy. Iron Boy in your noir. And that was the very same song that we asked Amashire Day. Amashire was asked, Amashire Day, so you don't have any English song. I say, what about Iron Boy? Iron Boy. Iron Boy. Iron Boy. Iron Boy. Iron Boy. Now, your major question. Madam Pass Godiola. So, the album. After the storm, after the storm was released in 2006, by which artist? Hmm. Pass. Godiola says, pass. Please, Kevin De Bruyne, pass the ball quickly. Hmm? Gasconi. Was released by Alkali. Your, your bonus question. 2006. 2016, after the storm. Sakodie. That is rather unfortunate. Was released by the man Shata Wale. Shata Wale. Oh, is that 2006? Sixteen. Yeah, you said six. You said six. Sixteen. You said six. Yeah, I think sixteen. Just six. What did I say? Sixteen. Six. One point. <laughs> I am sure you're learning. It's just so unfair. You can't do that. <laughs> He's the quiz master, so let him decide. Excuse me, I wasn't talking to you. I was oh, talking sorry, to him. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So you see. Like I said, I award the point discretionary. I can do it anytime. Your major question, Gasconi. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, you better be. Don't be like some people. What was the name of Obrafo's album released in 1999? And of course, to give you a more clues, he's celebrating his 20 year anniversary this year. 1999, people regarded it as the greatest hip life album of all time. The greatest hip life album of all time. The album that caused the revolution in the Ghanaian hip life industry. The execution. The execution. That is unfortunate. Or Bravo could name an album execution, but it was a clothing line. Now, a bonus question to you. You said a clothing line. And to my fro. Wow. I said an album. 1999 album by Oprafo. The greatest hip life album of all time. That is what it has been touted as. Now, a bonus question to you. You want to pass? I don't know. Wow. I thought you were smart. <laughs> well, the album is Pai Muka, Pai Muka, Pai Muka, Pai Muka. It had hits like Yanum, Yanum plus one. 
And that was a quick bonus question that could have gone for anyone. Now, let's move on to the next one. This part, I'm going to ask you songs and then you continue the song. I tell you the lyric of the song and then you continue. Now, the first one. Area fine boy. Oh yeah, man. Sorry. Area fine boy. Oh yeah, man. A man of God. A man of choice. You know, his level, I really, I really cannot tell. But I'll give you one so that it doesn't become a bonus. You know what I mean. Round of applause. <laughs> now, this is yours. Adriana Boo, Adriana Boo, Adriana Boo. That's what you're expecting, isn't it? No. Actually, I think, you know, this is Buta Canyon. Buta Canyon. If you can't answer the question, you do Buta Canyon. We've seen some before. Buta Canyon. <laughs> but you know, it can be easier, you know? The questions can be very easy. You never know. You know what to do. So you're doing this intentionally? I never said that. I just said the questions could be easier. Now a bonus question to you. That is what I said. You almost got the song, but unfortunately you couldn't get the continuation. It's And that is by Inkasei. Question. Bonus for me. It's a bonus question for you? Well, I'll give you a bonus question. Uh, please, you, if I said for, I'll give you my sister. No. Uh, Looking at you, I'm sorry. It's okay. Like, like now? Please. Please. Let's leave it there. Okay? Well, hold on. Your sister is not yours to give out anyway. You don't do that. Please, answer her. Answer her. Talk to her. You're not talking to me. You didn't mention my name, but she's a woman who has a choice. You don't give her out to anybody just Please like master, that, especially to someone continue, like continue. him. Please continue. What kind of a big brother are you? Hmm. Like you. Okay. Yeah, and trust what's ah, you're very fancy, you're very fancy. Now your major question. Your major question. Now the song. Hari Zumiado is a cry. Hari Zumiado was on which album? Obapa. Ye be my money. Bonus question. Bonus question. Well, it was on the Playboy album by Daddy Lumba. Daddy Lumba. So, your major question can be easy. Can be very easy. Continue this lyric. Deba. Huh? Deba. Huh? Boy B. Peso Jijimi. Mi fa be bia. No, ta ta me. Oyama. Oyama. Bonus. Pshio. Oyama. A fade yami ho chirimi. A word to a wise is enough. Three points. Your major question, Gus Con Corny. Now, continue this lyric. If you see me today, is that oh? Is that what? Is that oh? Yes. If you see me today. Well, a bonus question to you. If you see me today, I know my level. Ah, my level. 
My level. Correct for one point. <laughs> Your major question. Who sang this song? Mount of Banner jingling and lingling along, a Mount of Banner here, is as when a tear, Mount of Banner jingling and lingling along, a Mount of Banner here, is as when a tear, jingling and bona bona tola tola. Ruffle. Wrong! Bonus question to you. Book back. Book back! Correct for one point. <laughs> like I said, it can be easy. This is a demonstration of how easy it can be. Your major question. The song, Twin City Mafia, was sung by who? Twin City Mafia. If you want a bit of the song, we can give it to you. Yes. Twin City Mafia. Twin City Mafia, oh. Twin City Mafia. No, I don't know it. No, it's not part of the list of the songs you listen to. I don't think so. Obviously. Gasconi. Bob Marley. Bob A. Bob Marley was saying Twin City Mafia. Bonus question. Mali. Who? Mali. Who Mali? Ma the one who sang that song. What's Mali? There's Bob Mali. There's uh, Ziggy Mali. There's, uh, what's his name? Rita Mali. There's so many Malis. The second Mali you mentioned. Rita Mali? Yes. Sometimes when you get a paw and you don't get it right, this is how it ends up. That is wrong. It is Shasha Mali. Shasha Mali. Now, last one ending up with you, Gasconi. Your major question. Talking about Shasha Mali. Give us one line in his famous song, Matatui. Sing a verse, just a line in that song. Matatui, Matatui, Matafus, Banana Nana. You didn't get all of it correct. Please try again. Mata tui. Mata fush. Mata. I'm sorry, it's going to be a bonus to you. Mata. Maya yata. Mata tui. Mata tui. Mata fush. Wrong. Please. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's a bonus question. And this is a compulsory question. <laughs> you can't pass this question. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes? Um, I think it's... Mata tui tui, mata pui pui, mata fush. And you don't listen to some kind of music? Very selective indeed. One point! <laughs> and of course, one is, well, that was one of the most popular songs in Ghana. Mata pui pui, mata tui tui, mata fush. In this life, in this life, in this life, Mata twi twi, mata pui pui, mata fush. And it's not what you're thinking because mata twi, mata pui, mata fush are friends of Shacha Mali in Australia. He met them in Australia, please. And of course, we'll be going for a quick commercial break. When we come back, we will bring you more right here on the show. What, what, what? What don't you know? <laughs> so you're welcome back to the show. My name is Daniel Alfred Yaboa. We're moving to the final round, and of course, we have three contestants here. We have Yao Preku from Coffee Minting, and of course, we have Madame Pass from Sepasima Yabwa. And this will be the last time I say it. And if I don't call you, please don't try me. 
animal you born from surpass a eh? and of course we have the man Gasconi from Bomso. They've been competing, and of course, I'm very impressed with the couple of them, but some of them, mm. Mm hmm. Now, in the very final round, we're going to be picking from anywhere. It's going to be random from any, any category. So, we're starting off with these popular adverts, and of course, some very popular sick tunes and shows from back in the day. So, starting off with you, Madame Enima from Sepas. Eh. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Continue this. This was a popular commercial, and you have to continue the song. Messi Kirim. Messi Kirim. Mm. I don't know. Well, obviously. Yes! Bonus point to you, Gasconi. I can just do the beat. What is the beat? <laughs> Wrong! Yes! Messy cream. Hey, cream, papa. Uh, I think. Well, I'm going to give you half point over there. I'm giving you 0 0.5. Well, the song is Messi Kiri. Eye gro papa, se me shiananka. Enye kura, abo franika. That is the song. Now, your major question, Gasconi. Continue this song from a show. Let our powers combine. It. Let our powers combine. If fire continue, water, wind. Obviously, he was not owning a television then. His father probably never owned a television, or he was probably not born. Now, bonus question Let our powers combine. If if I think I'm not familiar. Madam Enima, if. Mm, ice water fire. Madam Enima says ice water fire. Wow. Please, this one is F. Fire. Wind. Water. Hot. Go planet! Let your powers combine. I am Captain Planet. Very, very disappointing. Your major question. Continue this one. Continue this one. Choco, 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 milo. Please come again. Choco 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 milo. Eh, eh, I am a friend of the. Choco 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 milo. I am a friend of the. Yen yena yen check in. Oh, so yen yena yen check na yen di. No. Oh no way. No. We no need. Bonus point. Bonus question. Oh God, do you hate me? Well, it depends on you. I don't, I don't remember it. I don't. It sounds like it's way back. It is way back. And I know obviously you were not there. <laughs> Gasconi. To who? Well, it's choco 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 milo. Choco 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 milo. Choco 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 milo. Chewy chocolatey chunks of fun. So nobody got that either. Now. Let me bring you somewhere closer. Somewhere closer. Okay? Somewhere you can all relate. God bless you. You're welcome. So, 
Whose major question? Your major question. Middle of a pa. It's a commercial. Middle of a pa. Middle of a pa. Just give me the name of the commercial then. Yes? Key soap. Continue. Middle of a pa. But there's one important thing you missed, which is very important. Middle of a pa. Correct. Home one point. Middle of a pa. What do you say? You're worried. You didn't miss your and that is a legendary key song. Of course, the actor was a legendary Mr. Mens of blessed memory. Now, your major question. Your major question. I'm sure you should be able to get this. I have vitamin A. I have vitamin A. What am I supposed to do with the person? I have vitamin A. Vitamin D. <laughs> yes, a bonus point. I have vitamin A, B, C, D, E. To the end. That's your answer. You let's stop at C. Let's stop at when you didn't answer. Bonus question. I have vitamin A, you have vitamin A. That's all I can remember. Mm. Well, I could give you vitamin D, but you said no. But the answer is I have vitamin A. Dun, 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 dun. I have vitamin A too. So you see, that is the answer. Now, whose major question? Your question. Your question. Which commercial was this? Honey Kuchi Kuchi. Wrong! Espresso! Tigo! Tigo correct for one point! <laughs> now your major question. Why is the Lotto Doctor not rich? NLA? NLA is correct! <laughs> and you remember that commercial? Why is the little doctor not rich? Because he's a good Samaritan. That's all. Now, your major question. Your major question. Now, continue this song. Continue this particular song. And you tell us, okay, I'm going to sing the song, and then you tell us which show it was. Okay? Esmeralda is correct. <laughs> and your major question. Your major question. I am more than the I am more, I am more than the Torrento. I It is a telenovela from Uruguay, but. And it's... Time up! 
Bonus question to you. Rosalinda. Rosalinda! <laughs> now, in the series Rosalinda, who was Rosa Rosalinda's <laughs> minus one? Who was Rosalinda's love interest? Rosalinda's love interest. What was his name? Why are you looking at him? It's my question. Okay, who wrote Rosalinda? <laughs> no, you know that's not fair. Well, I'm the show. I give the questions. Anyway, I'm giving the answer to the question you mistakenly asked him. Okay, I'm changing the question altogether. I am changing the question all together now in the show the bold and the beautiful who was rich forester married to who was rich forester married to i don't remember you can say you didn't have a tv it's okay a lot of us didn't yeah you can speak for yourself it's fine um, a bonus question to you. Who was Rich Forrester married to? <laughs> yes? He was a banker. He says Rich Forrester was married to he was a banker. Please, the question I didn't hear. Who was he married to? Okay, a certain woman. Uh, uh, miss, uh, you add Miss to the name you mentioned. What name? Please, can you repeat it for me? Yes. The name? Yes, please. Of who? The one you mentioned. Rich Forrester. Okay. Miss Rich Forrester. You think we are jokers here? Hmm? You think we are jokers? Well, he was married to Caroline Forrester in that series. Now, your major question. Your major question. When I tell you the commercial, you tell me the catchphrase. Etsy animo. Etsy animo. Is that a commercial? Yes. Etsy animo. Pass. Etsy animo. Why? Etsy animo. Etsy animo. You call it high tech, and that was a Pepsodent commercial. Pepsodent commercial. The one with the spectacle and the wiper. Etienimu. Yekono high tech. You sure did spend a lot of time watching TV. No wonder you're not good. Now, your major question. I told you we'll be mixing it up. So we're mixing it up and this time, we're moving on to riddles. R riddles. Now, the first riddle. What has a head and a tail but no body? A head and a tail but no body. A snake. It's wrong. A coin. A, a coin is correct. Now your major question. It can never be put in a saucepan. What can never be put in a saucepan? Can never be put in a saucepan. What is it? Pass! I have passed for you. You're sure you use the internet? You use computers? Well, the answer is it's lid. The lid of the saucepan can never be put inside the saucepan. The more that there is of it, the less you see. What is it? The more that there is of it, the less you see. Darkness. Correct for three points. <laughs> Now your turn. 
And this, of course, will be the very final lap of the final round. Two fathers and two sons are in a car, yet there are only three people in that car. How is this possible? Two fathers and two sons are in a car, and yet there are only three people in the car. How is this possible? Is it two fathers, two sons in the car? How is it possible? No, we don't have two fathers. We have one father and two sons. So can, can, can we just pass it? You said you need the explanation. I know it's okay. Are you okay? Thank you. Thank you. Too. Bonus question to you. I don't see how that's possible if there are two fathers mm. and two sons. Like you said, the possibilities are endless. It makes sense. You'll find out soon. Yes! So we have a father, a son, and his grandson. Correct! For three, sorry, for one point. So we have a grandfather, the father, and the son. Two fathers and two sons. Does it make sense now? Hmm. Now this brings us to the end of the round. And of course, We'll be going for a quick break and collate the results. We're going to find out who owns the show. Who is moving on to the next stage of the competition. This is the show. What, what, what? What don't you know? <laughs> All right. So you're welcome back to the show. This is what, what, what? What don't you know? My name is Daniel Alfredo Boy, and of course, I have contestants here. They've been competing keenly for a slot in the final round. And of course, I have the results here. And to give out the results, I have contestant number one, and he had, of course, his name is Yao Preku. And Yao Preku had 11.5. <laughs> now, and contestant number two, the Madame from Sepas, Madame Enima. That is your name? Well, Madame Enima collated 14 points. And before you clap, before you clap, before you clap, she says, she doesn't know whether it's my show or not. She's been challenging me all through the show. So for that, mine was 10. <laughs> so Madame Enima goes on with four points. Next time. That's so pega. And of course, contestant number three, who is Mr. Gasconi, had a whooping 15 points. <laughs> the winner for the contest, of course. The winner for this contest is Mr. Gasconi from Bomso. And this has been the show, of course. My name is Daniel Alfredi Brother Christmas, and this is What What What? Wow. What don't you know? What don't you know?